Hello Virgo! I welcome you to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a regular. I have already shuffled and meditated over the cards and laid before you. Before I begin, I'd like to say that this is a general reading for all Virgos. I have used, I'm using um, a uh, focal card with the Wisdom of Avalon deck and um, the card that you receive is Trust. Okay, so, you know, there you may have some trust issues. Uh, are you, are you trusting the right people, the right situations? Um, are you trusting uh, circumstance, God, however you want to view that? Um, are, are the people that are around you that you're trusting, are they worthy of trust? Are you being too lenient with your trust? Or are you um, not trusting enough? These are questions that you need to analyze to really get to the root of the problem. You know, if you've been hurt in a recent past, um, you may be too guarded. Um, if you're a person like me, you may be too guarded in general all the time. I, I have deep trust issues. Um, so uh, that may, you may need to work on this. And a lot of times when we have um, trust issues, this really translates into faith issues. Um, having faith in um, God or the universe or um, the divine, however you want to, whatever you want to call that, um, the unknown, the mystery, the, the energy that controls all of this. Um, and sometimes we have to remember that we are not the center of the universe. Uh, we are not the only focus. Um, in the eyes of, of you know, God or, or, or whoever. Um, this is, this is a shared existence and, you know, everyone is, is human and they are capable of mistakes. So, you know, if, if somebody breaks your trust, are you willing to, um, are you willing to forgive them? I guess it probably just depends on the person and the situation. But these are things that, you know, you're going to have to deeply analyze. I can't say whether you should be trusting or untrusting. This is something that you will have to figure out. But def definite trust issues. Okay. Um, you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. This, um, this card, it has a couple different meanings. The first meaning is that, you know you are coming up to an end um, in a situation and it's not really how you wanted it to be resolved. This is not how you wanted things to go. This could also speak about um, having a fear of an end of something, you know. Um, maybe somebody could ruin your reputation and you're fearing what they might say. Um, this could be totally linked to the trust card that you have to put trust into somebody else or or trust into multiple people um, that you know whatever the situation is they have power over you and you have to trust them not to hurt you with that power now another possible meaning for this card is regeneration and what I mean by that is um, restoring trust and faith into people and into situations. You know, perhaps you were hurt in the past. Um, this could have been recent or this could have been a while ago. And, you know, you've had trouble trusting up until this point. Um, and this card symbolizes breaking through uh, that that you know that border of of being able to trust people so you know perhaps you are are you know regaining that trust and that faith that you have lost you had lost for so long and um 
regenerating that uh, that trust and faith. And if you if you see the the card clearly, I can bring it closer. When the swords are in reverse, and the man is at the top, it's like the swords are pushing him up. It's like um, a feeling of being uplifted, freedom. Because ultimately, trust and faith is freedom. And it's what we all strive for. It doesn't mean that you should trust blindly all the time. Um, but it is certainly what we all strive for. Okay, you have the devil upright. I'd much rather see the devil in reverse. but However, the devil can be fun. Literally, he can be fun. You got to think about, um, you know, bondage. Do you have any feelings of entrapment, uh, addiction? What is it that, uh, what is your go-to feel-good thing? Um, you know, mine's coffee. And, uh, uh, so yeah, think about what, what, what is your crutch? Because you may be taking it in excess. You may be overdoing it. The devil can also speak about temptation. So temptation may be coming along in a form of a person or a situation, a circumstance. And, um, you know, you need to question, you know, will this be something that is good for me? Sometimes the devil can represent good things. Um, you know, when you've been stuck in a rut or shut up too long, uh, when you've been um, overly controlled, the devil can symbolize uh, taking, taking things to excess, but doing it because it's needed. Sometimes we need to do something um, extreme to break free of a certain mold. But most of the time, the devil speaks about being controlled, usually through um, substances. It could symbolize people or a person in your life that is overly controlling over you. So, you know, if this is a person, they're going to be very influential with you. But mainly the devil is bondage and and taking things in excess to an unhealthy level. So, you know, if you're conscious of what it is that you take into excess or the things that tempt you, you may be able to break free of that bondage. But we have to we have to understand what our crutches are before we can do so. Okay, you have the four of cups in reverse. This is missed op opportunity. Um, you know, you're, you're sitting idly around, perhaps even bored, and um, not paying attention to the things around you. You may even feel self-pity or self-loathing at this time. I feel, you know, this card symbolizes being alone, and this symbolizes, you know, negative thinking. And the kind of thinking that is me, 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 poor me. And, you know, it's important not to think that way, especially when you receive this card, because it means that there's things going around or going on around you that you're being blinded to because of your thinking. Um, you need to you need to understand what you're doing or be conscious of what you're doing and be like, hey, you know what, this is a waste of time. I need to get out and see see what's going on around me. Talk to people um, because there are opportunities around you that, that are probably going to interest you at this time and you're going to miss out if you sit around at home alone and wallow in just self-pity or negative thinking of some sort. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, I knew she was going to come out. I knew she was going to come out because I was shuffling the deck and she halfway popped out of the deck, but not fully. And so I was like, you know what? 
I've seen you a lot in the past week. I am going to put you back in that deck where you belong and give you a good shuffle around. But she still came out. She still came out when I laid the cards. I knew she would. She's stubborn. And that's what the Queen of Reverse is. She's very, very stubborn. And this is probably a character that you're going to have to deal with. I suppose it could be yourself playing this character. But um, Wands are Fire and Cancer, you are Water. So it's most likely going to be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And it's a feminine energy, so most likely a female, an older, mature female that, you know, it could be your mother or your grandmother. And this person is very controlling over you. She could also be connected to the Devil card. Um, she could be connected to all these cards. Um, I can't say she is for sure. She could just be a totally different situation altogether. Um, but this, this is a person that has, um, she may, I can't say if she has or hasn't got control over you but she definitely wants to control you and the situations that you're in um, she may come off aggressive or too assertive um, you know poking her nose in, into other people's business and she could be very demanding Now, if this is you playing this role, I'm going to say that you're playing um, kind of like the the shy guy uh, type of card this week, or um, I'm trying to think how to say that. You are uh, shying away from things that you normally don't in this last week. Because the Queen of Wands usually is not shy. She's usually, you know, um, very um, overt or an, she's an extrovert. And and um, when she's in reverse, it symbolizes that you are becoming more of an introvert. Well, that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please push that like button and um, don't forget to uh, share this video and subscribe. Bye-bye.